guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing a new at Sephora haul on a ton of new at Sephora makeup, a little bit of hair care, and a little bit of body care. And even more specifically, I have stuff from a ton of the new brands that are arriving at Sephora. It seems like they're adding new brands every single day, which is very exciting. If you want to see what I picked up from Sephora new goodies, then just keep on watching. I'm going to do the hair and body products first, just because I have one of each, and then the rest is just strictly makeup. So as I said, we have stuff from new brands and then also stuff from existing brands like Benefit, Sephora Collection, Smashbox, Charlotte Tilbury. I just wanted to try out and play around with a lot of the new stuff. Um, most of this I picked up within the last few days, so I haven't actually had the chance to try the majority of it yet, but I have tried some of it. So I'll give you my thoughts on what I've tried. And then if you want to see a testing new at Sephora video using all of these products, stuff from the new brands, if you want to see Get Ready With Me, just testing it first impression style, then let me know and I can film that as well. All right, so first up, we have a product from Frank Body. This brand is new to Sephora, but certainly not new within the beauty landscape in general. This is a Australian brand, but it looks like this product specifically is manufactured in the US. And it's a very, very popular body brand. They are known for their coffee infused, coffee ground body scrubs. And then they have expanded the line to pretty much all over body, smoothing, firming type products. So I decided to go with just like the original, the basic, the original coffee scrub. I have never tried anything from Frank Body just because shipping etc was just so expensive and I didn't see a point in paying the markup. But when I saw it arrive at my Sephora, I was very excited to try it out. And obviously as a Sephora beauty advisor, I want to get as familiar with all the new stuff as I can to help sell it if clients have questions. So this is the original coffee scrub exfoliator for smooth glowing skin. It is formulated with Robusta coffee cold pressed almond oil and vitamin E, firm up the skin, made to tone the skin and really smooth out the skin overall, get rid of any texture, you get a really good amount in here. I've also heard amazing things about their firming body oil. If you've tried any products from Frank Body or any of the brands here today, let me know what your favorites are if you have recommendations because I really want to familiarize myself with all the new stuff. Next up, we have a hair product and then everything remaining in the bag is all makeup. So this is the Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. I had a little bit of training on this at work, so it is supposed to be pronounced Gizu, in case you're wondering, kind of like Bizu in French, which means kisses. Um, so yeah, Gizu, and it is actually made, manufactured in the Netherlands, which I didn't know. I was under the impression that it was a New York-based brand for whatever reason, but it is actually a Netherlands-based brand, which I think is very interesting. So Sephora started carrying products from Gizu, um, all of which I believe are honey-infused. That's kind of like the whole vibe of the line. I don't really smell anything though. Um, all the products are honey infused. They have tons of different products, but the original honey infused hair oil is the most popular. Um, gorgeous glass packaging. I think this is just so aesthetic and pretty. Just looks good on the counter. I have yet to try it, but I'm excited to. I love a good hair oil. I love a good smoothing hair oil, and I love a good repairing bonding hair oil. I believe this one is more for smoothing than anything else, but I will need to do some research on it, research the ingredients beyond the honey infusion. It just says to apply evenly through damp or dry hair, so not a lot of info there, um, so I'll have to go online and research a little bit how you're supposed to use it ingredients I like to know pretty much everything about a product before I use it so yeah let me know if you've tried this or anything else from Gizu I'm very interested in their products so the first new makeup brand that I decided to pick up products from is Freck Beauty I've heard a lot about Freck on social media on Instagram on just online I feel like it's sold on a lot of independent sites like Urban Outfitters that kind of thing and I received this in the mail I fully thought this was a sample I was very confused but this is, I remember that I had purchased the mini, which I still believe is $29 or something, which is very expensive. I'll link all the products and prices down below because I don't have my receipts here. For scale, that's my hand. It's very tiny. Like my nail glue that I use for my nails is a bigger package than this. It is the Freck OG, the original Freckle long wear Freckle makeup. I got the light medium. There's also a medium dark, very tiny, but it is a very liquidy product. So I suppose you do get a decent amount of product in here. 
I'm not too sure. I'm going to need to try it out and see how I feel and see how long it lasts me to let you know if I do think it's worth the price. But because Freckles, Faux Freckles, isn't a product that I use regularly and I'm just kind of getting into it, I didn't want to go ahead and buy the full size. So I decided to go for the mini, but now I'm wondering if it would have just been worth it to get the full size. I'll have to look at the amount of product you get in the full size. In the mini here, you get 1.35 ml. So and what better one to try than the original one? And I'm sure we'll get this in store soon. So I want to know a little bit more about it. Then I picked up one of their lip and cheek tints. Obviously, I'm a sucker for like a good lip tint, cheek tint, dual use pink product. That's like my go-to product from every brand. I had to resist and not buy the same type of thing from each new brand. I tried getting different types of products when possible. So this is the Cheek Slime Lip and Cheek Tint on Sephora.ca. It was available in two different shades. I got the more pinky shade in Cuffed. I believe the other one was more like round terracotta um but this does look a little bit more peach in person than i thought it was going to so that's what it looks like such cute packaging again this is a product that i've seen all over online on instagram it's just like a very aesthetic brand as well i love that we're getting more indie brands at sephora it's very fun fun to try some new products and be able to get them all in one place as well i think that's really nice so again i got mine in cuffed i will do a little swatch for you guys so it's much more orangey than I anticipated. It's pretty much the color of the lid rather than the color of the tube. I wanted the color of the tube because I don't love an orange blush on me. But again, just nice to try a new brand, a new formulation. We'll see how I like that on me. It is pulling way more warm orange, peachy orange than I thought that it was going to. I love a classic pink, but it's good to try different colors as well instead of just having the same baby pink blush in my collection. So I picked up this gorgeous packaging and that is what the shade cuffed looks like very excited to try both of those products especially together do like a super blushed out look with freckles on top i just think that's very pretty the next product that i picked up is from danessa myricks this is a more indie brand and also a black owned beauty brand i've been wanting to try products from this brand for a while very excited that sephora is following through with their promise to support more black owned brands so danessa myricks is one of those and I decided to pick up her most popular product. I would say that's kind of what I wanted to do with all the brands try out what they're most well known for and then go from there. So I picked up the Dew Wet Clear Highlighting Facial Balm. This is not a product that I have anything similar to in my collection, which I really like. Brands are slowly starting to come out with products like this. I know Tower 28 has one. I know that Mario Makeup by Mario has one. Just like a highlighting gloss face balm. This is what the packaging look like. Pan size is great. She has, I believe, three or four different shades of this. Beyond just clear, she has one that has more like a champagne shift, a gold shift, etc. I wanted to just get the clear one because this is kind of what she's known for. So you really can't see it there. Just looks like a pan with some transparent jelly on top, which is essentially what it is. This kind of product you can use in a bunch of different ways, but mainly I have seen it used to add like gloss and glow and shine to the face. You can wear it with makeup on. That made a difference. You can wear it with makeup on. You can wear it without makeup on just to add like that glass skin look, which I love. You guys know me. I love my glassy, glowy, dewy skin. Anything dewy, glowy, I will purchase because I am a sucker for that and I have dry skin and that's how I like my skin to look very glowy and healthy if not borderline oily so I really am excited to try this it's a reasonable price as well everything from Danessa Myricks is pretty reasonably priced she also has some lip and cheek products she has powders um, highlighting liquids there's a bunch of different stuff but I just wanted to try out the most well-known product first, see how I get on with it, and then potentially purchase more from the brand. So again, let me know if you've tried anything from Danessa Myricks, if you like them, if you have recommendations, especially for my skin type, tone, what you know my preferences are definitely let me know down below. Next up, we have Merit. This is a, another new brand. I really like their packaging. We got a full good amount of their range. Actually, I think their whole range in my location. So it's nice to kind of see it in person, feel it in person. Um, I decided to pick up their tinted lip oil, of course, in Pink Beat. This is just like my kind of product. I'm a sucker for 
any type of pink lip gloss, lip oil, lip whatever, or cheek product, and this kind of color is like my go-to from every brand. So I picked up this. The brand is Merit. It is clean, vegan, it is cruelty-free, distributed in Los Angeles, and made in the USA. So it's a US-based company. It's a clean company. It is a vegan and cruelty-free company, which is awesome, and their packaging is so aesthetic. I absolutely love the gold with the glass bottle that is a gorgeous color it's like a deep true rosy pink again that is in pink beet and very pigmented you can certainly tell that it's a lip tint oil type product it feels absolutely gorgeous so I just blended it in a bit there I really like the texture of that and I absolutely love this color it's just like my perfect pink I kind of wish that the Freck blush was that color or a bit lighter like my lip color it's very orange anyway so I picked this up. I will be trying that out. I will update you guys on all of these products if I don't end up doing a first impressions, although I kind of want to. And then the last brand that we have that is a new at Sephora brand is Say. This brand is made in Italy and distributed in New York, or at least this product specifically is made in Italy. This is a mini of one of their best-selling, like, kind of hero products, I suppose. So I purchased it just to get a feel for it, get a feel for the brand and try it out. So this is their Glowy Super Gel Dewy Illuminating Fluid and I purchased mine in Star Glow. They have two different shades, but I believe the mini is only available in Star Glow, which is the shade that I wanted anyway. This is what the product looks like. I really like the packaging on this as well. All of these newer, like indie, smaller brands, I feel like just get it. They have really good aesthetic products. They have great shade ranges. A lot of them are more vegan, cruelty-free, black-owned brands. I just love to see it. So I'm very excited about all these products. I have seen two videos now where people use this and they say that it's more of like a highlighting primer. So I saw, I saw someone use it yesterday. I think it was Babs Beauty use it yesterday and she said that it's very comparable to the Rare Beauty Always an Optimist primer which is actually one of my current favorite glowy dewy primers but she said it's more of a primer than it is a illuminator on top of makeup which I can kind of see because it is very thin in consistency whereas typically with like a highlighting liquid you would want it to be a little more chrome a little bit more opaque this one feels quite sheer and quite white liquidy so yeah I don't think I'm going to be able to use that right on the face as an illuminator I think it's definitely much more of a face primer oh there is directions on here okay it says that it is a lightweight and multi-use illuminator to use all over the face or mixed with foundation kind of similar to how you would use the Charlotte Tilbury the flawless filter is kind of how I'm envisioning it being used. I don't know if you can tell, but it's giving that area of my hand there a really nice like glass skin effect. Excited about this. I'm also going to be using this in my full face clean at Sephora video, which I have coming within the next week or so. This is the brand new Sephora collection foundation. This is the best skin ever long wear foundation. It is made to be hydrating. It is anti-pollution. It's medium buildable coverage, 24 hour hydration. It says that it is clinically proven to reduce signs of stress and fatigue, and it is enriched with algae extracts and hyaluronic acid. I picked up mine in in 4N, which I've swatched and seems to be a perfect match for me. I may as well swatch for you guys in case you are a similar skin tone to me and you are curious. For reference, I am a MAC NC15. So that is the shade there. I think that's going to be perfect for me, especially if it does. I really went heavy with bronze today, so I look like I'm tan, but I just carried it down my neck. I'm not. I'm super pale, so I think that shade will actually be pretty perfect for me. This is the fourth shade in. The shade range is amazing. It goes so fair and so deep. I'm so happy that they did such a great job with the shade range. Packaging is great. Price is right. It's pretty much everything that I look for in a foundation. Hydrating, long wear, medium coverage. That's like pretty much always what I want. So I'm very excited about this, especially for the price and it being Sephora collection. Obviously, I love to support. So then the next four products we have are ones that I have tried and played around with a decent amount. First of which is the Anastasia Brow freeze brow styling wax I've actually had this for maybe even a month now I just wanted to throw it in here mainly to give my opinions on the product it is sold out at least on .ca it's sold out online and within like every Sephora near me 
Um, so it's a very hot commodity at the moment, but it is worth it. I think it is such a great product. I actually left my container open one night like an idiot and it dried out a lot. So I had to like really go in and mix it in. So that's why mine looks disgusting, but it's a great product. It's amazing for the price. You don't have to activate it like you do with any other type of brow glue. If you like the laminated brow look, if you like the NYX, they came out with that brow, brow freeze product, not brow freeze. You know what I'm talking about. I'll put an image here. The NYX brow product, I like this more. I like this more than my Patrick Ta. I like this more than any type of brow freeze, brow lamination, brow soap that I've tried. So if you can get your hands on it and you've been interested I highly recommend if you like that type of look I've been absolutely loving it next up we have benefits newest mascara launch this is technically an extension of the benefit they are real line I find it different and I like it better than the original they are real so this is the they are real magnet mascara by benefit very cute gimmicky type packaging that benefit always likes to do um, I have been testing out this mascara for probably a week, week and a half now, and I've been loving it. I've heard very mixed reviews from people online, so I was a little bit skeptical, but I really, really do like it. I find that it gives me a ton ton of length with separation. Honestly gives a quite similar look to the Maybelline Sky High mascara. So if you've been wanting to try that or you just know you like Benefit mascaras, this one's very good. It's very similar. So this is what the wand looks like. It is a little bit different than the original Their Real brush because it doesn't have that little ball attachment on top, which I'm not a fan of. I don't like the original Their Real mascara much, to be honest. I'm not wearing it today because I had to film my mascara for a different video using a different mascara but I've been wearing it top and bottom pretty much every day that I've gone to work this past week and I've been really liking it. So if you've been curious about that, I highly suggest if you like length and separation, not so much if you want volume or like big thick lashes, um, I would pair it with another mascara if that's the case, but I've been really liking it. Next up, we have a new release from Smashbox. I'm actually wearing it right now. This is the new Always On Cream Eyeshadow Formulation. I was pretty interested in this, honestly, when I saw it on Trend Mood at first. Just a different type of product to the market. I feel like we're seeing so much of the same right now, which is just kind of how it is. Not a big deal, but it's always nice when a product comes that's a little bit different. So this is a cream eyeshadow formulation. It comes in a squeeze tube applicator. I've worn it for the past three days just in the crease with a brush. I have mine in the shade rose. I can swatch on the back of my hand. So this is the shade there. Can you tell the tones that I like to use? I'm such like a pink person. Pink lips, pink blush, pink eyes. Um, yeah, so it's like a dusty rose pink kind of grayish color. It's pretty unique. I think it's very pretty. I kind of want to pick up the khaki green shade as well and maybe even one of the browns. I just find it super easy to work with. It dries down like a powder so it doesn't crease at all during the day. I've been wearing it to work. I sweat a lot at work in my mask and running around and it doesn't crease. It looks amazing all day. I'm into it. I think it's a cool release and it's exciting to see Smashbox doing new stuff because I feel like they aren't as in there with all the new releases. So I am into it and happy to try new shades. And then it wouldn't be a Sephora haul without a Charlotte Tilbury product hauled from me. This is the new Happy Kiss Tinted Balm Lipstick product. I purchased mine in Enchanting Kiss, which is like a warm toned, not even warm toned, it's more of like a neutral pink. I'll do a little swatch. I am wearing it today, but then I put a bunch of gloss on top. So you can probably barely tell but I'll do a little swatch for you guys. It is a tinted hydrating balm. That is what it looks like. Again, that is the shade Enchanting Kiss and I'm wearing it today under the ColourPop um, Raw Beauty Christie gloss, which is a little more nude, so it kind of neutralizes it. I can put a little bit more on. So you can see it's like a nice rosy pink color. Nothing super like crazy, definitely nothing new to the market, but you guys know I love Charlotte Tilbury. I'm a sucker for Charlotte Tilbury. I love trying her new products and I love just like a tinted pink wash of color on the lips. So I just kind of had to pick it up. I probably won't get any more from the line, but I'm really happy with the shade that I chose. Definitely let me know if there's anything specifically in this haul that you'd like to see a dedicated review on. Otherwise, I would be totally happy and open to doing a full face first impression 
impressions on all of this new stuff. I might pick up a few more things that I've been eyeing and do a full video, especially with the VIB sale upcoming in the next couple weeks. It would be nice to share my thoughts on some of the newer at Sephora products with you guys. That is all that I have for you guys today though. As always, I hope that you have or had an absolutely awesome day and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye.